Welcome to the circle. Our hope here is that everyday people will learn how to become Jesus followers. Our vision for the Circle Podcast is to have a conversation about the message on Sunday so we could apply it to our everyday lives. My name is Rob, I'm your host, and I'm here with Jacob, our pastor at Local Vineyard Church. Hey everyone. We're in a series called Hurry Up and Rest, where we're looking at the spiritual practice of a weekly Sabbath. Jacob, on Sunday, you talked about how Sabbath rest is both a rhythm and a resistance to our fast-paced culture. Can you elaborate on what that means? Yeah, for sure. The first thing is rhythm. I don't know about you, Rob, but I can't dance. I don't have any rhythm whatsoever. (laughs) Yeah, I could dance. It's just not my thing. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to catch me up in the club trying to do the stinky leg. It won't look too good. But rhythm, the definition of the word rhythm is a strong, regular, repeated pattern of movement. I think this is a problem in our culture. I'll just pick on myself first. The problem I used to have before Sabbath rest became a regular practice for me, I was out of rhythm in my life. I worked hard. I played with my kids. I was very present with my family. But because I rarely took time to rest and process things with God, I always carried the stresses of work and life with me. So before Sabbath rest became a regular part of your life rhythm, how were you able to tell that you were out of rhythm? Yeah, for me, it was anger. And taking small things way too personal. If you knew me a few years ago, I would blow up on people so easy. Or if someone says something to me, I would stew on it for days. I was not a person of peace. But when rest became a rhythm in my life, peace was a result. You know, that sounds real familiar. That's something that I struggle with from time to time. But this idea of peace as a result from rest sounds very appealing. Can you share some practical ways that we can make rest a rhythm in our lives in order to gain some of this peace? Of course. The first thing is practice a weekly Sabbath. But like we talked about last week, it doesn't have to be a 24-hour block of time. It can be a Friday night dinner, a Saturday morning, or afternoon on Sunday, whatever works for you. Start where you are, not where you want to be. But in that time, disconnect from work. Disconnect from your phone and be intentional to stop, rest, delight, and worship God. Secondly, I encourage people to spend daily time with God through prayer, Bible reading, putting on a worship song, or sitting in silence for a minute or so. And it doesn't have to be long periods of times, but just intentionally doing it. And that will create a rhythm of rest and peace will be a result of that. I dig that. I especially like the idea of putting on some worship music. That always helps me feel connected. Now, tell us a little bit more about the second part of this, rest as resistance. For me, when I hear the word resistance, I'm thinking it's time for action. Like I got to take a stand against something. Exactly. Rest is a resistance. Rest is an action. When we choose to rest, we take a stand against the culture that says your value only comes with how much you can perform or what you can produce or what you can buy. We take a stand for our emotional, mental, and spiritual health. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. It's like through Sabbath rest, we're taking a stand against the pressure and the stressors that we face in our everyday lives. And we're taking a stand for who God says we are. Exactly. That's what's up. Last question. In the message, you also talked about how when we choose rest as a rhythm, we'll be faced with external and internal conflicts. What are some steps we can take to overcome these conflicts? Yeah, that's a great question. Here you go. Do something drastic and do something simple. Okay, I'm interested. Do something drastic by choosing to put your phone away during Sabbath, or at least for a set period of time, or not buying things on Amazon, or if you're married, Praying with your spouse. If you have a family, especially teenagers, imagine if your family put their electronic devices down and had a real family dinner together, played games together, went on a walk and actually connected to each other. I love that. Do something simple, meaning on Sabbath, do what you love. If you love to cook, cook. If folding clothes helps you rest, fold those clothes until they spark joy. Take a nap. Don't overcomplicate things. Just be intentional to stop, rest, delight, and worship. You heard that right. Do something drastic and do something simple. That was awesome. Well, thank you for joining us on The Circle. If you have any other questions about Sabbath, 
feel free to text Jacob at 757-813-4314. He would love to share his heart for Sabbath with you. And we'll see you here next week for the Local Vineyards Circle Podcast.